Kevin, what are you doing? <laughs> Trying to keep the sweat from dripping in my eyes. I had a question the other day. New TIG welder. You know, just got himself a new machine. And he said, I keep hearing about high frequency and lift start. Could you talk about that a little? Sure. So high frequency start. That's what most of your TIG welders will use, except when you're like welding on a car or you're welding around computers or electronics or something like that. Then you want to go to lift start around a car. You know, the computers in a car. You want to like, um, you know, fix the exhaust system. You got a hole in the exhaust pipe or something. You want to get in there and weld a little patch in it. Well, cars have lots of computers nowadays. That high frequency start can screw up those computers. Pop little transistors or whatever those little things full of smoke are in there. Um, around electronics, you know, in a, in a building, you know, around computers, things like that. Lift start only. You can't use high frequency around them. Same thing. It'll, the high frequency will screw up the electronics. The difference between the two of them is with high frequency start, you can just get close to your metal, you know, about an eighth of an inch, quarter of an inch, you know, right, right in that area somewhere. You can just get close and click your trigger or step on your foot pedal, depending on how your machine is set up. The high frequency start in the machine will cause that arc to jump across and now you have your arc started and you can weld. As soon as your arc starts, that high frequency goes away. It just shuts off until it's needed again. So for lift start, you can still use your trigger or your foot pedal, but you don't have that high frequency arc jump across there. So you literally have to put your cup down on the metal and you're going to click your trigger or step on your pedal and just roll up and pick up at the same time. Just that nice smooth little move right there. And I'm doing it this way just so you can see it on the camera. Normally I would do it this way because it's facing me. But just put your cup down on the metal, click your trigger, roll it, your tungsten will touch that metal for just a second and your arc will start. And then you can just go to work. So as far as differences in the machine, between lift start, high frequency, or a machine that has both capabilities, like this one does. You know, this is the Everlast Power TIG 255 EXT. Now this was actually kind of special because this one has an electronic, it's all electronic high frequency component in there. There's no points. On some of the cheaper machines, most of the cheaper machines, You'll hear people talk about having to adjust the high frequency points. This machine does not have that, so there's nothing to wear out in there. Um, there is a, a cost difference, I'm sure. I couldn't tell you exactly how much, but a machine with high frequency is going to be a little more expensive than one that's just lift start. And then you've got even cheaper machines, which are called scratch start TIG, where the tungsten on those, as soon as you turn the machine on, that tungsten is hot electrically. So you would just, you would literally just come up here and just like a mat, or just like stick welding, or just like with a match, you know, you would literally tap it or scratch it or something to get the arc started. Once you've done welding, then you just have to lift it away. Just jerk it away quick to break the current or you know, break the arc. So you're probably asking, okay, now which one's better then? You know, which one should I get? Personally, if I was gonna take my piggy bank out and go buy a new machine, I'd look for the combination. I'd want high frequency and lift start. Give me a switch, I can get one or the other. Preferably, like this machine, where it has the electronic package in there, so there's no high frequency points. So there's nothing to adjust. There's nothing to wear out. So I hope that answers your question. And do me a favor, reach, I think it's right down there, with your mouse, and click on that subscribe button for me. You get a chance? Pop out to Facebook, Kevin Carone Artist. Check out what I'm doing out there. I'm going to go stick my head in the freezer. I'll see you guys next time.
วัด